guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today, we are going to be talking all about this little guy right here. And if you don't know what this is, that's okay because I didn't either, but apparently it's supposed to be a $7.80 dupe for Olaplex called the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment. That's a mouthful. My sister was actually the one who told me about this product and told me that she kept seeing that it's supposed to be a dupe for Olaplex. So she's like, what are your thoughts? You should review it. And I was like, what? I have never seen this in my entire life before. It has very unique packaging. So I was like, I definitely would recognize that and I don't. So what's going on here? I went over to Amazon and I saw that this product has a four and a half out of five star rating with close to 34,000 reviews. So apparently I've been living under a rock, but obviously I had to buy it to test it out for you guys. So today I am going to be sharing all of my thoughts on this product and whether or not it is truly a dupe for Olaplex based on the ingredients and my experience in using it. So let's jump into it. All right, so the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment is a hair treatment that again retails for a whopping $7.80 that is supposed to fight frizz, split ends, breakage, and dryness through the use of plant proteins, collagen, and ceramides. I did not realize this until after I purchased it, but they actually promote the use of pigskin collagen in this. Um, that honestly kind of freaked me out because I feel like I have never in my life seen a brand promote the source of collagen in their products in that way, but they're doing so because they say, aside from the benefits that we just talked about, it will help to protect and promote healthy hair. So that's disturbing. There are tons of cosmetic products that contain collagen, but again, because I had never seen a brand talk about where that collagen actually comes from, I wanted to see what the most common source of collagen in cosmetic products is, if this is something that's normal or if it was just a weird one-off. And unfortunately, I found that when collagen is in hair care products, skincare, makeup, it's most commonly extracted from the skin of mammals and fish. I don't like it. So this is obviously not a vegan friendly product. And while I was hoping that that would maybe just be a weird one-off thing with this product in particular, it seems like that's actually really common in the beauty industry. It's just that other brands are not talking about where the collagen in their products comes from for obvious reasons. Okay. Let's move on. So like the product description mentions, this does contain collagen as well as other forms of protein like silk, keratin, wheat, corn, and soy. However, if you watched a recent video where I discussed a bunch of hair care marketing gimmicks, you may remember that I talked about the use of keratin and other forms of protein in hair care products. I won't repeat everything that I said in that video, but to quickly summarize, there are a lot of brands that use protein-based ingredients like that to market benefits such as damage damage and split end repair. But the truth is that ingredients like that do not have the ability to change the chemical properties of our hair in order to reverse damage. What they can do instead is coat and condition the hair, which will in turn protect our hair and temporarily improve the appearance of split ends and texture. So while the messaging is a little bit misleading, those ingredients can definitely still benefit our hair. However, in my opinion, those ingredients really wouldn't be the reason why this product has so much hype because those ingredients are in a million other hair care products. So when I took a look at the ingredients list to see what else could be going on here, I was like, okay, it's all making sense. At the very top of this ingredients list are some of my all-time favorite hair care ingredients, including amodimethicone, quaternary ammonium compounds, and citric acid. And these are all ingredients that I've talked about in previous videos because they're ingredients that you will often find in hair care products. But what I don't see nearly as often is all of those ingredients in one product at the same time at the very top of an ingredients list. That is pretty rare for me to see. And when you start to break down the benefits of all of these ingredients, it starts to make a lot more sense why people are raving about this product. So again, because I have talked about these ingredients in multiple videos in the past, I don't want to continue to harp on the same things over and over and over. However, I'm sure that there are some new viewers watching this. Hi, welcome, thanks for watching. So if that's the case, I'll just really quickly explain the benefits or maybe some of you would like a refresher. So. Quaternary ammonium compounds are cationic surfactants and amodimethicone is a modified silicone. So different kinds of ingredients, but they both have the same benefit of having a strong attachment for damaged hair that allows them to resist being rinsed away with water. It's actually kind of funny for me to think back on because I specifically remember discovering what quats are and how they benefit the hair 
while I was reading one of my hair care textbooks, of course. And at the time, I remember thinking that I had discovered this like miracle secret ingredient that no one was talking about. Not only do they have that affinity for damaged hair, but they add softness and shine and improve brushability. So that's why I started to call out ingredients like bentramonium chloride and centramonium chloride, which are two quats in this treatment, in a lot of my hair care reviews. But as time went on, I started to realize that those ingredients are in basically every single hair care product ever made. So that's probably why people were not talking about them. It's not really a rare thing, but nonetheless, they are beneficial for the hair. And amodimethicone is also an ingredient that you can find in other hair care products, but not nearly as often as quats. Not the same kind of thing where you'll just spot that on every ingredients list. It's a lot more rare to find, especially at the top of a label. And I definitely know that the entire formula of a product matters so much more than the presence of one single ingredient, but I swear there is something about a product when it has amodimethicone at the very top of a label that makes it work like magic on my hair. I feel like most of my favorite hair care products have that ingredient in it. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And those are the ones I reach for all the time. I just don't feel like that's a coincidence. I don't know. That's just my random theory, so take it or leave it. But amodimethicone has tons of benefits, just like other silicones, including protecting and strengthening the hair, decreasing frizz, adding softness and shine, improving manageability, and so on. It just has that unique benefit of having the strong attachment for damaged hair that not all other silicones do. And then citric acid is something that I often see at the bottom of ingredients lists, but almost never at the very top, like in this treatment. And that's exciting for me to see because citric acid helps to lower the pH of a product, which is going to help to protect the integrity of the salt bonds in our hair, help to kind of seal the hair's cuticle, make our hair really smooth and shiny, decrease frizz. You guys know I love acidic hair care. And then on top of that, there are some other ingredients at the top of this list that just help to add some additional slip and softness and shine, which will just further detangle and condition and protect the hair. So that includes things like cyclopentasiloxane and dimethicone. So the real question is, does this have an ingredient in it like Olaplex that will penetrate the hair and actually help to rebuild broken bonds? And the answer is no, it does not. So in that sense, I would not consider it to be a dupe for Olaplex. But when you think about all of the ingredients that we just talked through and the benefits that they have for the hair and the fact that all of those ingredients are in this product at the same time, it starts to make sense why so many people feel that this is a dupe for Olaplex. So even if it's not acting on the hair in the same way, this really does have so many amazing ingredients for damaged hair. So the fact that it's $7.80 kind of a game changer. But of course, the ingredients can only tell us so much. So let's wrap up the review by taking a look at how this product actually feels, the texture of it, and I'll walk through my thoughts on using this on my hair and my results. So as far as product texture, this is actually quite a bit lighter weight than I was expecting. I think just because of the fact that it's called a coating treatment, I was expecting this to be really, really thick and dense and heavy, but it's not at all. It is definitely a lighter weight treatment, a lighter weight mask. I would consider this to have more of a comparable feel to a conditioner, if anything. So I wouldn't really say that there's anything that remarkable to call out as far as how it actually feels, but it is really nice and soft and smooth. So I applied this like I do any conditioner or hair mask. I worked in sections and then I let this sit in my hair for about 10 minutes while I shaved and exfoliated and did the rest of my extensive body care routine. So after doing that, I would say the only downside to this is the size of the bottle. I do have to use quite a bit of product to evenly coat my lengths and ends, regardless of what I'm using. That is not a unique problem to this product. However, the issue with that is just that it's so, so small. After using it once, I was like, wait, this is like half gone. It's definitely the type of thing for me that would be completely gone within maybe like five to six uses. So maybe by two, if you're interested in this, it's not a huge deal because it's so affordable, but I do wish that they had a bigger size. So I'm going to show you what my hair looked like before using this. Um, it's not looking good. It had been nine days since I washed my hair in this video and I normally never like to do that, but I was back home in Minnesota for an entire week before and I had a hair salon appointment thrown in. So I feel like my wash day routine just got messed up from that and that's why it looks so crazy dry and not good. So based on the state of my hair before using this, I have to say I was actually really pleasantly surprised with how well this worked on my hair. After I got out of the shower, my hair detangled so easily. No snarls, no knots. I feel like I haven't had my hair detangled that easily 
and I don't know how long, I honestly can't remember. So that in and of itself is a game changer for me. But then on top of that, I do think that my hair just felt really nice and soft and smooth. It had nice shine. I feel like it had good fullness without it looking heavy and weighed down. It just was nice. So final thoughts on the alleged Olaplex dupe are that I do not consider this to be a dupe for Olaplex because again, there's nothing in this that's actually going to rebuild broken bonds. However, it absolutely is something that could allow you to see a noticeable improvement in your hair with just one use. I really did love it. I will continue to use it. So if you are somebody that doesn't wanna spend money on Olaplex or K18 or other bond repair products, this is definitely something worth looking into. Or if you do use products like that, you could easily just throw this into your routine as a conditioner or a mask on top of those products and maybe you'll see even better results. All right, we are going to wrap up this review here. I feel kind of weird already wrapping it up because I feel like I don't often do videos like this anymore where I'm just reviewing one single product, but I felt like this was a special case because of all of the hype that it's been getting. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Had you heard about this before? Have you tried it out? What was your experience? Are you going to test it out after watching this video? If so, it will be listed and linked in my description box below. And if you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend that you think would enjoy my content as well. Thank you so much for doing those things. It really helps to support me, so it means the world. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.